Hello, my name is Roberto Poyato, and as you know, the best way to learn thermography is just by practicing. So, taking your camera with you everywhere you go will allow you to experience new aspects of thermography. For example, if we want to inspect a, ter a motorbike or any other machine, it is not a good idea to run it for just one minute, as we did in this case. The reason is that in one minute it will not reach the maximum temperatures that we will get in a normal steady state condition. Anyway, we see for example that the transmission chain gets hot due to friction and also the brake disc also gets hot after braking. We also see some areas of the motorbike at a very low temperature for example, minus 20 degrees Celsius. Do you know why we see these so low values? Yes, some metallic uh, reflective surfaces with very low emissivity are reflecting the sky temperature of this cold night. And as you know, the space can be at a very low temperature, so the camera will display these areas at the minimum temperature of its range. So, two takeaways. First, mechanic elements get hot because of friction, and because of that, oil lubrication is a key factor for a proper maintenance. Second, low emissivity surfaces like polished metals not only emit lower infrared radiation in comparison with high emissivity surfaces, but also they are very reflected so they can reflect the temperature of other bodies not only heated bodies but also the lower temperature of cold bodies like in this case the sky